Adika Ray Eku and Alexander Osho dance in the name of love, just the perfect way to start their matrimonial journey. And Obidi Ikako and Nene Achumba taking those vows with a promise to spend the rest of their lives together. And the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Amina Tambua, the Governor of Ikiti State, Dr. Kayade Fayani, the Governor of Delta State, Dr. Emmanuel Ledouan, and the Governor of Kano State, Alhaji Rabiu Kwakwansu, gets the Zig Prize for leadership. Okay, you have seen our lineup of interesting events that are with you on this week's edition of your Social Diary program. Metrophile, I mean, we have two lovely weddings to show you and the prestigious Zig Prize for Leadership. All these we have packaged just for your viewing pleasure. So relax and let's enjoy the next 30 minutes together. I'm Ogich Kwasi. It's a day they have both looked forward to and it finally came. Edika Ray Ekbu and Alexander Osho met years ago and became really good friends. Later she traveled abroad for her masters and Alex had to wait and all that. But to cut the long story short, their friendship finally climaxed into a colorful wedding in Lagos recently. Enjoy. The redeemed Christian Church of God, Victory Chapel in Magodo, Lagos is the venue where this young couple decided to start their matrimonial journey. Co-founder of Newswatch magazine, Ray Ipple, on this day gave out his second daughter, Hedikan, in marriage to Alexander Osho, son of a Lagos politician. Alex Osho, an investment accountant, and Hedikan, an economics graduate from the University of Lagos and a master's degree holder from the Institute of Management Development in Switzerland, started their friendship when they were colleagues at an auditing services firm in Lagos. The fruit of that relationship is what they're celebrating today. God created Edika for only one reason, and that reason is to make an example. That's all. Every other thing is additional. From there, they danced to sign their marriage register and then exchange rings. That's your cause for Thanksgiving. And together, 
all prayed for the couple. And we'll guide them, we'll support them, we'll supply them that they need. That's all The first part ends on a very high and happy note. her to be humble, be dedicated to her marriage, be her husband's friend. Whatever she does, she should look up to God. Let him know her plans and the Lord will perfect them for her. You should not lose focus. You should make sure he's ever transparent with his partner. That will help him a lot. that thing that attracted you? Uh, first of all, her beauty and then uh, her intelligence, her commitment. She's a very hardworking person. Um, you know, so, and then um, she inspired me a lot of ways, you know, when we, when we met. So I just, um, those things really just come together and add up and make it make sense for me overall. I think it's his sense of focus, his sense of drive, his sense of ambition. He's a very caring, warm, tender person. And he's someone that he's a joy to be around. And you can see where he's going and what he's going to do with his life. And I'm happy to be part of that. From there, guests moved to the reception at Grandeur Event Center, Oregon, in Keja, Lagos, where they were spoiled with sumptuous delicacies and choice drinks. Well, this hall was definitely well decorated. The DJ dished out the right type of music to usher in the new weds. Nell Oliver's hit song, Baby Girl, Eddie Can had an emotional dance with her father. Later, the couple cut their simple, four-layered, flawed white cake, with Senator Florence Itagiwa conducting the process. Ah, don't mess me up, you are like, oh, look at what's 
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for them. Thank you very much. Guests then filled up their wine glasses in a toast to the couple. Not forgetting the single ladies as they move to the dance floor. The DJ took the celebration to yet another level. The couple had a good time dancing with their friends. <laughs>